Hello, so in this example, let's try to create room schedule. So for this task, let's go back to our project. Let's go to views. In views, let's look for schedules and we want to calculate quantities. So we select schedule quantities. And from this list, I select rooms. Rooms, room schedule, new construction existing, so I can choose the phase and let's press OK. So from here I can select different parameters for my rooms. So uh, first I need to see the number, later name and uh, also it would be great to have uh, counting how much rooms I have in my project and area. So these are the main parameters which I want to see in my uh, schedule. Uh, other parameters which I can implement uh, and will not be visible it's maybe level in which I have these rooms and let's go to filters in filters area I can select level and I can filter which level rooms I want to see in my shadow let's say I want to see level zero rooms next part sorting so I select sorting so let's sort number name and I think these are the main thing, main main parameters. Uh, next thing, I want to see title and totals, grand totals, how much area of my rooms I have, and for first attempt, I leave this itemized every instance, so I can check mistakes or delete or modify if I see any mistakes later uncheck this parameter and your schedule will look much better. Uh, for mating, so in here, for numbers, I select center, center, area, center. This parameter in my case will be hidden. In area, I want to calculate totals. I select uh, field format and look if it's calculating square meters. OK. Uh, you can uh, uncheck this parameter and let's say I want more decimal numbers after my uh, number. Let's say two. I can press OK. And counting also, I want to count all. Count, calculate totals and number. OK. And the last part, appearance, I can modify what kind of table objects I want to see. So uh, I don't want to see blank row before data. And here title should be 3.5 and header text and body text 2.5. Um, I should use ISO text font, but for this example, I will use existing text formats and I press OK. And here you can see all my rooms are in this table. And from this table, I can change parameters and automatically parameters will update in my views. Let's say this one is conference room. And you see it automatically updates this part. Also, you should change, resize the objects. So for simple uh, numbers or calculated values, you can use 15 or 20. So let's say in this case, I will use 15. For text objects, you should use maybe 
I have 25 or 40 and here also I will use 15 Revit is created by American company so it uses inches so then it converts numbers so you get this uh, after the small numbers not nice numbers so you need to re-enter values using hand technique so here let's say numbers I would like to have maybe 20 and also you can modify all the table and you can see it's 19 also you can change the name title name uh, you can join some parameters and so on later you can put this schedule inside your 